Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 9th, 2024. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to a quick space weather update here, as we've had quite a few events, as I've posted over the last couple days, on our sun, multiple M-class solar flares, and now an X-class solar flare occurring today. That's right, while you were out enjoying the sunshine it was under X-ray solar influx from an X3.9 solar flare. Or sorry, uh, X-class 1.8, I do believe. But having a look here at the multi-spectrum, you can see the sunspot region in equatorial in the center of the sun, and as well the outgoing sunspot region, they were reacting back and forth over the past few days. And look at that, almost like freaking laser beam shooting out of our sun. Amazing images here with Solar Dynamics Observatory, as well a large plasma filament that ejected from the northern hemisphere of our sun. We've got a couple coronal holes. Solar Cycle 25 is definitely putting on a show so far. And something I've talked about in the past with this channel is that we could quite possibly go through a Carrington event again. Now, if you all don't know what the Carrington event is, it is probably one of the largest solar flare events recorded in history back in 1859. Basically, there were wires across states and electricity running everywhere, but when this flare hit, everything was fried. All radio communications blackout. Pretty much the Carrington event, if it was any stronger than what it was, could put us back to the Stone Age. In our sun in solar cycle 25, this sunspot region particularly has a very curious and peculiar similarity to the sunspot region during the Carrington event back in 1859. I encourage you all to do your own research and just Google it and get informed about what the Carrington event is. It's one of the largest solar events ever recorded in an Earth-directed fashion. Now here is the most recent sunspot region. 3366 and as well the Carrington sunspot. It seems to be about the same size. So just a heads up, everybody. We are seeing some dramatic changes occurring on our sun and on our planet. Have a look at this sunspot region in a motion. And it looks very fluid, almost like there's a, a plasma current swirling across the surface of the sun. Multiple sunspots involved in this region right there. And these sunspot groupings are what can and have produced in our time some large solar events affecting us. The electromagnetic bodies that exist through the cosmic energy. Having a look at LASCO 2, showing the cosmic energies leaving our sun, bursts through the north. There was the sun diving comet that was reported at the beginning of the month. And then, of course, all of these multiple Earth-facing halo CMEs right there. And that is from all of the M-class solar flares and X-class solar flare that have been occurring in the past two days. Reported here with daily events worldwide. If you haven't seen these particular events, I mean, I did show them here just now but there were more images before and as well some missing data which is now back here with soho this is showing the first nine days on our sun amazing images and thank you all for watching right now i appreciate all of you wanting to be aware and prepared keeping track of space weather events earthquakes volcanoes and of course, our planet with world weather. 
keeping a close eye on atmospheric conditions, volcanic activity, especially during these solar events that are expected Mother's Day. May 10th into the 11th, late tomorrow night and into Sunday, is when we will be hit by quite possibly a triple CME, Earth-directed halo CMEs. Thank you for pressing play. Fred, thank you for subscribing. Let's have a look at our current space weather conditions. Right now we are under R3. Radio blackout impacts expected. So strong radio blackout impacts. Solar winds are coming in at 383 kilometers per second right now. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, very active throughout the day. Showing the X-class solar flare and multiple M-class solar flares, about a dozen being shown there. Solar proton flux is on the rise, and that will steadily rise over the next 36 to 48 hours during this solar storm event. And here are the storms now, looking at the Space Weather Prediction Center. As you can see, late into the 10th is when the first one arrives, and then the second one arrives on the 12th. But I'm pretty sure once they update these CME models, they might be coupled together quite possibly because the later CMEs are moving a little bit faster than the first one, but they will be affecting our planet. Little green circle there is Earth. So heads up, everybody. This is all connected to us. And during these solar events, we always see an increase in cardiac arrests. And those with heart conditions must be aware and stay healthy to these incoming energies and frequencies, really. Because it affects our brain, it affects our heart, our body. Being controlled by cosmic energy and our realities being chosen by ourselves. Just some amazing images here showing a triple CME on its way to planet Earth. On the other side of that green circle is stereo A and B. Those are the satellites helping give us all of the amazing sun images. Thank you all to researchers and developers. Thank you, NASA. Thank you, NOAA. And thank you to over 76,000 followers. Much love to you all, and I appreciate your loyalty and patience. I'll leave you here looking at the Aurora view line for tonight and into tomorrow. Tonight, there will be a slight chance all the way down to the American border. But tomorrow night will be the big night when it all starts. And it looks like it could continue for a couple days. So much love, everybody. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay aware and prepared. Because here it is. We are here. And I'm grateful to have you all along for this amazing journey. Stay safe out there. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Check out this. Aurora's all the way down to South Dakota.